Hello and welcome to the AVX product video series. In this video you will learn about VAPV high availability HA on the AVX. Specifically you will learn what is the VAPV, what is high availability HA with two VAPVs, what is the network topology, how do I configure HA with two VAPVs, and how do I test the HA deployment. The Array VAPB is a virtual application delivery controller that improves application availability, performance, and security while enabling dynamic, flexible, and elastic provisioning in cloud and in virtual environments. The VAPB will be deployed on the AVX as a VA instance to provide server load balancing. The HA function allows two or more VAPV appliances to continuously exchange the running status with each other and keep their configurations synchronized. When an appliance becomes down, other available appliances will take over the application services on the faulty appliance, which ensures the high availability of application services. Here is a network topology for the VAPV HA on AVX deployment. We have the following key components. Two AVX appliances, two VAPVs, one deployed on each AVX. Each VAPV has an ingress and an egress port for traffic. Each VAPV has a heartbeat port that monitors the HA status. This port is a virtual port on the AVX virtual switch that is bound to a physical port on the AVX appliance. To configure HA with two VAPVs, there are five key steps. Number one, configure AVX appliances. Number two, deploy and configure VAPVs on both AVX appliances. Number three, configure SLB and HA configurations on VAPV1. Number four, configure synchronization peers on VAPV1 and VAPV2. And number five, synchronize the peers from VAPV1 to VAPV2. On the screen are the two AVX platforms. On the left is AVX1, on the right is AVX2. I have already deployed a VAPV on each AVX with IPs that correspond to the network topology. To save a little time, I will use the command line interface to configure both VAPVs. Let's begin. On the screen are the consoles for our two VAPVs. Um, HA will be configured in an active and standby deployment scenario. Uh, APV1 will be our active unit. APV2 will be our standby unit. Let's go ahead and configure SLB and HA configurations on VAPV1. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at our HA configuration. Unit number one, which is VAPV1, is IP 192.168.1.51. Unit number two is VAPV2, 192.168.1.52. We've created a group ID of five, and we've got a floating IP for uh, monitoring our active and standby status. VAPV1 will have a priority of 100 and VAPV2 will have a lower priority value of 50. Okay, let's now configure configuration synchronization on both VAPV units by adding this command. Syn config peer. Let's do the same for this one. Okay. To synchronize both um, HA units, 
we now need to run the send config to or from command. Let's go ahead and run this command from the pb1. Okay, it failed. Access denied due to someone else in config. Okay, uh, I see. Let's go over here to VAPB2 and exit and rerun the command. Let's wait a few more seconds. Okay, that's completed. Let's now check VAPB2 and see if the SLB and HA config has been synced over. Yes, and yes. Let's also check the HA status on both units. Okay, this is VAPB1. This is considered the active unit. Let's run the same command here. Okay, and you can see on the VAPB2 that it is configured for standby. Okay, to test the HA deployment, I'm going to reboot VAPB1 and force a failover to our standby unit, VAPB2. Let's jump back over here and run the same command. And immediately notice that our status has changed from standby to active for VAPB2. Congratulations, you've just configured and deployed VAPV HA on the ABX platform. To conclude this video for the VAPV HA on the AVX, you have just learned what is the VAPV, what is high availability HA with two VAPVs. What is the network topology? How do I configure HA with two VAPVs? And how do I test the HA deployment? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video on the AVX product.